Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Jason and you're tuned into I Speak Geek. So if you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing and joining my Geek Nation. So we're still giving away a Keychron K4 Optical Blue keyboard. So if you want to win this keyboard, please like and subscribe and comment on the K1 V4 review. I'll link the card above. And without further ado, let's talk about this package I have in front of me. So as you can tell from the description, this is the Simply Safe Smart Lock. So I was having issues with the Smart Lock that I got from Simply Safe about a week or two ago, and it was just not working. It wouldn't pair with the base station, it wouldn't calibrate, it opened when it wanted, it closed when it wanted to, and it was just very unusable. So I reached out to Simply Safe. We went through some troubleshooting measures and we determined that the lock was defective. So they sent me a new lock uh, two day mail and I've got that in front of me. I'm gonna open it up and then you know show you what comes with it. Cause I tried to do an unboxing last time, but when I looked at the footage, it was unusable. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this one and then set it up and I'll let you know if this one's better than the other. So without further ado, let's rip this open and see what we got in the pack. So I got the Simply Say Smart Lock in front of me. So get my trusty knife. So it is the same as last time, same packaging. So what you get in this package is the documentation, a little protector for the lock, the lock itself, a few adapters depending on what type of lock you have, and the keypad, which allows you to get inside the house, and a few screws under here for the lock itself. So it's a pretty simple setup. You think it won't be so intensive, but I learned otherwise that it is. So let's go ahead and replace the current Simply Safe with this one, and hopefully this one works better. So let's get it set up. Okay, so once again, we're back at my back door. We currently have the Simply Safe lock on there. This one is not working correctly, so I'm gonna remove it. It's pretty simple to remove it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and put the replacement on there. So hopefully this time it's a lot quicker than what it took me last time because I really didn't know what I was doing and um, now I do. So here's a little tool that actually comes in there. You, you would think it's like a SIM injector, it is, but it also serves to open up the Simply Safe lock. So you just insert it here into the, the wing tips boom, it comes like right off. So now all I gotta do now is really replace the lock, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace the keypad as well. I don't know if they're like a combination or whatever, but just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna replace that keypad. So we got the lock off. Um, now we just need to uh, get the new one on, put it in and see if it works. All right, so I have the Simply Safe app in front of me. Boom. As you can see, the, the previous lock is already in there. And I want to add a note device. You know what? I'm wrong. I actually have to get the keypad. Although I think I can do it in here. Let's try it in here first. Uh, if it doesn't work, then I'll grab the keypad. Quickly refreshing the base station. All right. So it's telling me to press the button on the back. It detected it. I'm gonna give it a name.
calling it laundry room because that's where it's located. And then for the keypad, you just got to press the button, any button on there, and it should pick it up. So let's do that. So it just told me the smart lock's not calibrated. Even though it didn't say anything, I see the keypad right in there. It's paired right under the door lock. So what I gotta do now is I have to go to the keypad and make it calibrate. I'm not gonna record that. Um, and then, you know, I'll give you my final thoughts after I go ahead and calibrate the lock. Hopefully it works. If not, again, I'll send it back. Um, but this is actually a really cheap lot. So this is why it's a little bit disheartening because it's a hundred bucks, whereas the Nest is like, depending if you get it on sale, it's like 179 to 249, uh, brand new. So definitely a lot cheaper just to get the Simply Safe smart lock. But then, you know, the reliability issues uh, with the lock that I had. I'm not saying it's all of them, but we're gonna find out shortly. So I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate it and let you know how it went. Guys, I'm happy to let you know that this lock works. It worked on the first time calibrating, worked on the first time pairing the lock. I can use the app to unlock and lock the lock. I can also use the keypad to unlock and lock the lock. First time, gave me no issues, works like it's designed. So now I can actually recommend this product for a hundred bucks. It's a very cheap product compared to other players in the market like the Nest Lock, which I have on my front door which is like, you can get it from like 179 to 249 for the lock, depending on where you get it or if you get it on sale. Um, I think I'm gonna use this lock for a little bit just so I can see that it's consistent before I decide to replace my front lock. Um, but I like it. it. It's working, it's doing its thing. I'm happy um, not having a big headache that I had with the last lock because it really was the most frustrating piece of tech that I've purchased in a long time just because it didn't work. And I'm happy that Simply Safe was able to troubleshoot with me and determine that it was a defective lock and then quickly sent out a replacement. So thumbs up to Simply Safe. Um, and guys, if you have any comments, please leave them below. This is Jason, and you just tuned into iSpeaky. Later.